Welcome to the Snake Pit. Check this out. Teslong Digital Borescope. This one is the 26 inch rigid rod version. They do have different size rods. Uh, they also have a flexible version of it. This one, let's unbox it and take a look. Boy, this boxing is nice. It's, it's going to have magnets right there. Like you're unboxing a lightsaber or something. But this one, the reason why I went with this one is it came with its own monitor so I don't have to download an app to my phone my phone is fairly old <laughs> uh, so that saves me alright let's take a look at this probe rod real quick in the mirrors because I want to point a couple of features out here first off let's see if I can get my lighting to cooperate and the camera you can see the rod itself is actually marked let's see if I can get it to focus on a number there we go. What does that say? 16. So it is marked every inch. It also has the quarter inch markings. There's 18. And all the way up to the 26 inch mark. And what it has is this nice little rubber slide. So let's say you insert your probe in and you find a problem. You can slip this to the end of the muzzle so you know how far in that, that barrel that issue was or or whatever it was you were looking for so say you're trying to clean some corrosion out or something really and and you run that uh, cleaning method through whatever you do check it again check that exact spot and see uh, or if you're just keeping an eye on something in there you can keep checking it now the mirrors here I'm gonna try to zoom in on this the mirrors there they are comes with three now the booklet just says you get three mirrors. Says they're, uh, do believe they're three times magnification. This one here with the red end cap, it's just a little bit longer, and the and the uh, oval mirror is a little bit uh, more slanted. So that's nice because this rod here is 0.2 inches, so you can do. You know, you can check out your 22 caliber. You can check out, you know, your 223, your 556 five, on up. Now, you do have to adjust your mirrors when you put them on. You thread them in and out. So, that one might give you a little more leeway. So, you can see there's a locking ring at the end of your borescope rod. And that's how you'll lock the mirror into place. Because you'll adjust your mirror in and out on the threads to make sure it's uh, picking up for whatever size rifle bore that you have it's focused in properly so you might have to adjust a little bit then you can lock it and it's set in for that rifle monitor itself there's your SD card port there's the charge port here's where the type C connector goes in all the way in there turn it on hold the power button down a few seconds you got your mode button so you can switch from taking pictures to video you can adjust the brightness of the camera itself you can also flip it the view 180 as needed so let's hook this up and uh, try it out Alright, you can see the probe light there. I do have the angle attachment on. If you don't have the angle mirror attachment on, you do get a, an image straight forward. So you can do a different type of inspection that way. As you can see, the mirror in the middle and then around it is the actual camera looking forward. And it does a pretty good job there. I'm going to try to show you this as I insert it. Uh, I use my left hand to insert it, so this may be a little uh, tricky and I am frightful because I, I ran some rounds through this and I didn't clean it because I wanted to try this probe out and see kind of what it looked like alright so we're getting through the muzzle device there and ooh, 
not good needs to be cleaned definitely needs to be cleaned let's see if we can work our way back and find that gas port there it is let's take a look at that gas port it actually looks pretty good from what I'm seeing and of course you know I can record off of this thing I can take pictures I can transfer this directly to my computer and really nice okay we got some carbon build up there at the end of the barrel the landing there so I definitely need to get some uh, cleaning done here and scraping done scrape that carbon build up out so there is a lesson learned here clean your rifles and inspect see what's going on I really like this I really like this I'm gonna try it on some of my older um, rifles the old Mosin the Gaunt stuff like that and very nice very nice boom